Well, your second novel is mislaid. It's built on the model of a Shakespearean comedy, which is sort of a romp um, of mistaken identity and disguise, but re it's race swapping as opposed to cross-dressing. Um, there's a marriage in the book between a gay male poet and a lesbian college student. Um, your books feature characters who are shaped by the structure of their marriage, very irregular marriages. I know you've been married twice. I'm guessing from these books that Maybe that's not something that's going to happen again. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I, I've, I've definitely uh, sworn off marriage. I don't know why. You know, it, it's to the point now where when I hear a young man say, I want to marry that girl, I think this is an act of aggression. Because in my life, you know, looking back on my life at my advanced age, I think, you know, is there anything more wonderful, more pleasant than falling in love? And when you marry someone, what you're saying to that person is, you have already fallen in love for the last time. <laughs> you will never, ever do it again. And that is cold. Okay. You know, I, this is not a sympathetic or kind thing to say to a person. And so I, I regard marriage as surely very odd. You know, how boring is a book if it's not political. I, it's just really important to me um, to address political issues because that's where the action is. That's what people are interested in. And um, I think there, there's a sort of ivory tower, arty novel that is still being written by a lot of people that I think, you know, that was fine back in the era of formal experimentation with the novel in the 1920s, but, you know, come on, people. You know, the, uh, life has become very political for all of us.